And welcome back to. Well, I was I, I wasn't finished my sentence there before you came in with two. If you're a previous uh, follower of Ben and I, yes. Or indeed, welcome if you're a newbie to worst, worst games, games ever. ever. Not allowed to swear. Can't say what it's really called. We just said what it's really called. It's always been called that, and it always will be. Always worst. It's never been a different one from that. Welcome. Welcome along. Should we give a quick recap of what this show actually is? Yes, Ben. Well, Worst Games Ever is a show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. We have a stockpile left over from our previous venture, so we don't need any more just yet. But... They're not always the worst games ever. They're just worse, worse than, than most. most. As we will discover, the PS2 era in particular, reviewers were... They sort of, in their words, said games were bad, but yeah. in their review scores, gave them sort of like 60%. Abysmal graphics. Never played anything so bad. My grandma died while I played this. 80%. It's 80% excellent. Now, one final thing before we get started, Peter. Yes. Each time on the show, there is a game's victim. There is. And there's a game's master. There is. The game's victim is the person who has to play the terrible video game. The game's master is the person who is responsible for dealing the terrible game. This week, it is The Mummy Returns on PlayStation 2. Yeah. And also, oh my goodness, oh, so hot and fresh, The Science Facts. Caution. Which, uh, which actually makes this show educational. Yes. So we need to designate a game's master and a game's victim. For, it's like an S&M kind of thing, isn't it, really? One, there's, there's one a of fetish, them, there is a fetish element yeah, to it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm going to flip Steven Seagull's passport. Okay. If it's heads, I will choose. Yep. Yeah. And if it's tails, you will choose. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh! It's heads. It was heads before it fell off my, my, my head. Okay. Which so, means... I think I kind of want to play the game. You want to play the terrible it's game? It's been that long since I've played a bad game. I sort of miss it. Well, I suppose I'd best head off and fetch some science facts so we can all learn about this wonderful video game. Excellent. And next week, you'll be the games master, I and will. I'll have to play the terrible game. Right, see you in a sec. All right, bye. Here I go. I'll just sit with the just take the box from with the friends, and yeah. Oh, it's Universal Interactive Studios. It's a bit juddery, isn't it? It's, a, it's almost like some down. kind of earthquake going on because they understand the magnitude of what we're about to play. Labyrinth, come in. It's very misty as well. Yeah. It's like someone's opened the hot and fresh science facts box. All the time. In The Mummy Returns. Why, I, are you, why have you gone straight into the menu? I, I, it's sort of a force of habit. Well, actually, no, I, that's why what I was doing it. features is it called? Because you should turn on subtitles, which are not an Available? Option. Oh, Therefore, yeah. features. There were features. Oh, oh, the motion picture trailer probably can't do that. The Moo Emmy returns. There's a face. There's a big, oh my god, there is a big face. Big mummy face. Who's that? It's like the magic mirror from Snow White. Yeah, or or the mask with Jim <laughs> Scary. Oh, okay, well, before we go any further... I beg your pardon? You can play as both of them. You can play as either film <laughs> hero, Rakokamal, played by Brendan Fraser normally, yeah. or villain, Im Hot, Im Hot, I'm Hot, EP. 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 They share a few levels. They have different campaigns, they share a few levels, right. but largely their campaigns are different. I think we might play as I'm Hot EP to begin with. You're going to play as the sexy wrinkly man? He is very sexy and very wrinkly. I just very quickly glanced over at him and thought... Oh, he's turning into a human! Oh, he is. I thought that that sort of big rag between his legs was a, a massive dongus. His Wallace? 
His Wallace. His Wallace and Gromit. His Wilson. He is, he is technically, I mean, he's not at the moment, but he is a mummy. Oh, now he's going mummy. He, he is a mummy, so it could just be all bandaged Maybe up the, in there. Yeah, that's what happens. Flopping around in there. Yeah. Uh, let's find out. I'm sure the opening cutscene will reveal whether or not that is his, his great big ancient Egyptian peen. Dwayne. Dwayne. You remember Dwayne? The Rock Johnson. Dwayne the, Dwayne the Scorpion King Johnson. He is in this game, but unfortunately, looking at the level select, he may not be available until the very end of the game. Oh, no. So we may not meet Dwayne today, which is a real shame. Oh. But would you like a little blurb about the game? And driven deep into, I'm sure. Are you sure? Are you sure? Battle Imhotep and his legions of mummies. Avoid torrents of water and death-defying traps. Avoid torrents of water? Yeah. <laughs> Why does the get, that get top billing it's in terms of obstacles? It's a regular feature of this game. But can you survive long enough to face the Scorpion King? Uh, no. We don't have time in this episode to... No. Wow, this is a this is a really long It's thing. really interesting as well. The, the Mummy, Mummy Returns. Returns. Did you ever see The Mummy Returns, the, the film? I've not seen... Well, I think I saw the first Rise Mummy... Up. Rise up. Rise up. Is that a bandana or is that I hair? don't. I don't know. Oh, oh my God. God! Jesus! What was he doing in that terracotta beehive? <laughs> it was like a really violent version of that Jurassic Park scene where he's going, "Come on, push, push, hang on, push." Her mouth is not. It's not moving at all. It's not. Look at the giant Egyptian styrofoam statue. What's with the steps? Why is there some metal steps in this tomb? I have no idea. It's a very modern tomb. Oh, is this a museum? It is the British Museum. <laughs> Full of things that we took that are ours forever. Definitely, yeah. They all belong to us. Well, because we, we walked in and said, they're ours. Yes, thank you. Yeah, we'll take those. Thank you for that. Oh, that looks shiny. We'll have that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, we're going to put that in a building where you can pay to come and see it. Yeah. In fact, we, we might have you as well. Can yes. we have, we'll, we'll bring you. You're yeah. ours as well. Did you hear about the, um, the Inuit man? Who was? Is this a joke? Fro no. Nope, who was frozen and mummified and was on display for quite a while until one of his relatives came. Oh God! And said, yeah. Uh, can we have him so we can bury him, please? And the British Museum was like, <sighs> uh, fine, I suppose. It's a bit of an imposition. I kind okay. of feel that way about archaeology in general. It's like after a certain amount of time has passed. Sorry uh, to cut you off, but I just love how this all-powerful mummy has stood there listening to this monologue <laughs> from this stranger. Yeah. Sorry, carry on. Uh, it's fine for an archaeologist just just to dig you up and put you in a museum. Mm. Like you're going to be buried yeah. or cremated, but you might be buried and put in a grave in the next seventy years. Three hundred years from now, and someone's just allowed to dig you up in a, in a couple of hundred years' time and just stick you in a cabinet. Yeah. Oh, I like how he's mostly rotted Sub away. Soul suck. Oh, oh, hello. I like how, although he's all rotted away, yeah. his eyeballs are still in perfect condition. His eyeballs condition. are great. He's got 20, some, 20, he, he must use uh, eye drops. Optrex. And so, she's yeah. got laser vision. Oh, she just slides around. Hello, friends. How's it going? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. my God, it's like that mini game from Spyro with can, the ice hockey. You can do curling. This doesn't seem right. So you can soul suck. Are you going to... Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Why is he just floating there? Jesus. <laughs> Instantly. Oh, you just... look a little less mummified. Oh, I've, now. I've, I've fle fleshed up. Oh my god, you're soul sucking that man off. I'm sucking him off. Stop soul sucking the man off. <laughs> like you just. So you've not seen the Mummy film? No, but I, I have. I did used to watch the animated series The Mummy, which oh. was based on the film. What is this? I have to press X to pick up. It's a canopic jar. A oh. sacred jar with magical significance. That seems a bit vague, doesn't it? Let's see what jumping looks like. How's it? Oh, okay. So you walk to the end. You see yeah. up there on the... And then it gives you the option to jump. Go on. Which is good. Do it. What does it look? It looks stupid is what it looks like. <laughs> it how, looks like a man... Look stupid? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a man who's been asleep for 3,000 years trying to remember. How did, how did I used to jump? Like that, maybe? That's it. Just straight vertical leap. <laughs> oh! She's a little confused by what, by what you're doing, because there appears to just be a staircase you could have gone up. Oh! Oh, he does parkour. Too. Is she a companion? Is she supposed to, she's trying to come with me, but she doesn't know. She doesn't really know how Do you, you think I can you, reach? Go on, try it. Oh! oh. No, not allowed. Um, 
These are fun rooms, aren't they? I'm, I'm okay. I'm noticing an issue already. Yeah. So when I run in a straight line, let me mm. just find somewhere straight like this. Yeah. He sort of gets up to running speed within about half a second. So you see yeah. how he, he kind of starts oh, walking. Oh, yes, yeah. But if you turn sharply, he goes down to walking speed again. Right, even though you're at full I'm at extent. full tilt, yeah. So it just takes all the speed out of you and you can't really maneuver at all. Absolutely. So unless, unless you're walking in exactly the direction of the camera, mm -hmm. see how he's just occasionally running when I'm facing the right way, but not any other time. That's so weird. Yeah, that's great. Which doesn't oh, open. Hang on, oh, what's happening? So it's, oh, oh. oh. Hang on. Here. What was that? Let's do that again. Here. 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 Then maybe you shouldn't be living. Here. <laughs> Are you gonna soul suck these men off? Oh, they go all they go all goopy look. Oh, you just went into first Oh. <laughs> oh, you're suck him off. You're soul sucking that man off. Nice. So can I can I recite some popular lyrics to you? You can, yeah. Okay, you're gonna make me lose my mind up in, up in. You're gonna make me go all night up in, up in. I'm sorry. Why are there ninjas in the British Museum? Why have they got swords? These are the British Museum ninja guards. Yeah. Also, it might be a bit perhaps reductive and ignorant. Uh, what? Like this camera angle? Yeah. yeah. This is this is a reductive and ignorant camera angle. <laughs> 80 out of 20. Good stuff. It might be a bit reductive and ignorant to to call them ninjas. They're just they're just mysterious men. With oh, swords. I see. But it is mysterious that they are here. That they are. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. Right. I pass a motion that all all <laughs> all people should be given free chocolate every day. <laughs> I couldn't really hit, I couldn't really <laughs> over the top of... She's just making a real racket over there, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. Here, here, that's what you were here, going here, for. Here, here, there yeah. we go, thank yeah. you. That You're was welcome. great. Well, that's, yeah. we've had our fun with that. What's that compass at the top of the screen doing? Oh, it's an actual compass. Is that what it is? I called it a compass, but I wasn't... Oh, my God! Oh, oh, oh. oh. So it's not a... Oh, my oh. God! It's not a, uh, a pointer that says, if you want to reach your next objective, you need to go over. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a compass that's not even relative to camera direction, but player direction. Because as yeah. you can see, the camera is now fixed. But if I turn <laughs> in any direction... It just faces whichever way you do, which is so useless. What a useless piece of design. Yeah. It does nothing. This is the way you're facing. Yeah. It's, that's not well, even it's not true. even the way I'm facing. It's not even true. <laughs> it's just... North relative to the character. We just needed to put another. Oh, oh God! It's, it's very difficult to see. Why has she got a gun? Do I? Oh my God! I can't open my inventory. Yeah, but you can soul suck people off. So she said something about stones for the sarcophagi. guy. Yeah, so it's the he's sarcophagi. A real, he's a real good sarcophagi guy, though. Like. So I'm going to give you a science fact now, Peter. Give it. You ready give it to... to me? The Mummy Returns is a video game based on the 2001 film The Mummy Returns. It was released for the PlayStation 2 and the Game Boy Color. Now the Game gonna... Boy Color. We're going to put a bit of Game Boy Color footage up now. It's the pits. Look at it. It's oh. a side-scrolling thing where the screen moves real fast, and you just have to jump and react to whatever's coming. There's oh, nothing brilliant. more, to... and it's got the worst music. Just sort of like. Do you know what was a real cop out? What's that? The fact that Imhotep is actual, he's like fleshy. Yeah. Uh, basically, what they probably thought is, oh, we don't have to keep putting him in makeup and like costume every time we do a, a take. Mm -hmm. So, what we'll do is, like, early on, he'll come back as a fully formed human that looks fine and healthy. Yeah. Even though, definitely, a film called The Mummy. I kind of think the villain ought to be wrapped up in bandages and having his fingers fallen off. Do you not? Do you not think? Right, I think so too. Yeah. To me, he on the on the box art, he just looks like Carl Pilkington. To be honest, <laughs> he does. He does a bit. He is a bit Carl. Yeah. You just kind of expect the mummy to be like. Oh, okay. Sick of it. It was developed by Blitz <laughs> Games and published by Vivendi Games, both of whom are now defunct. You'll know Vivendi. Peter. We do. I remember Vivendi. They have done worst games ever before. They have. Vivendi are responsible for the abominations, um, the fate that befell both Spyro and Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation 2. Oh. So all of those crap Spyro and Crash games on PS2 were Vivendi. Oh, no. And uh, they were then, they've then merged with Activision, 
um, when Activision merged with Blizzard to become Activision Blizzard. And Activision saved the day with Spyro and Crash. I mean, they did do Skylanders for a bit, but yes, they've well, now yeah, turned they it did, around. They did definitely do that for um, a bit, yeah. Yeah, and also I, I think there were probably a couple of rubbish Crash games too. Uh, but yes, Activision, they're, uh, Activision number one. Are you back again? Are you I a don't bit know. turned around? Yeah, just, just run in the direction I'm pointing the stick. Why does he walk? I don't understand why you don't follow your compass. Oh, yeah, that's a good... Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm already oh. here. Oh. I'm already... Why do they keep coming? Soul sucking. Oh, oh I keep no. forgetting. Oh, he's just it's a bit of a weird nothing. health mechanic, isn't it? Where, like, every time you want to heal up, you have to watch that dag gum animation. Yeah. Of, of doing a doing a suck on. Oh, this is good. This is level design right here. It's someone's, a dead... Oh, what's going just, on on the floor there? That's just weird, some weird, weird shadow stuff. stuff happening. Did you know, Peter? Uh, uh, obviously, Rakokinol's played by Brendan Fraser. Rakokinol. And, and Imhotep's played by Arnold Vosloo. Carl Pilkington, yeah. But neither actor reprises their role in the game. Not even the animated series actors, who are obviously voice actors who so they, played them both. Right. But they didn't... They didn't, they didn't get the, the animated people to come back and do it either. These are just guys. Right. He's just guys. Okay. Do you remember in the animated series that Imhotep, despite being a mummy from ancient Egypt, mm. and he was all kind of fleshy and weird, he wore this weird, re like this weird black jacket, like a trench coat. Did he? Yeah. Maybe he was trying to blend in. Right. Well, this really looks like a guy who's blending in, doesn't it? Is there a map? Have you got a map that you can look at? Uh, oh. Oh, God. Oh, you do? Excuse me? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> what is this? Are we on like the, the seventh plane of existence? This looks like a glitch, but it's deliberate, isn't it? That They actually meant for it to look like this. Yeah, if you just turn your TV brightness up and squint, you'll see exactly where you are. Yeah. I need a man to suck off. You need to suck off a man. Someone oh, there it is, there it is. isolate that. Oh, you're not, you're not facing the right oh, direction. Because you can't suck a man off on the stairs. It's Everyone a, knows it's that. impossible. <laughs> Stop, of... stop doing it. There we go. Yeah, you got it. Where's he going to go when you send him flying? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, well, he... he... Oh, he's... Oh. oh, he went all stretchy. Look, he's really long now. That was a complete... He's gone all long. Why? <laughs> What's happened? Oh, do you want to know the enemies? The enemies of Imhotep. The enemies of Imhotep. You've got museum guards. Mildew, probably, being a mummy. That's probably... <laughs> I can confirm the ninjas are called the Magi. Oh, I've got a... Uh... I've got a sword. Oh, you've got a sword! Uh, cats, oh. apparently, are an enemy of Imhotep. Cats. As well as Ardeth Bay. He I've is, been there. It's is, quite nice. He's the courageous leader of the Magi and also a delightful resort, all inclusive. Yeah. Enemies of Rick uh, and Imhotep include scorpions, saber toothed skeletons, mummified baboons, pygmy mummies, pygmy shamans, Roman warriors, and Anubis warriors, and the Scorpion King. Oh, okay. He's he's an enemy. Why are there no female guards in this yeah, museum? Yeah, that's pretty stupid, isn't it? They're not an well, you, equal opportunities museum. You wouldn't be able to soul suck off a female employee, would you? Well, no. I, you could try something else, but... I don't know what you're talking about. No. That sounds far-fetched. Yeah. Um, you're a selfish lover. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, look at this diorama. I had Ooh. diorama last week, actually. Did you? Was yeah. it after you had dominoes? Yeah, yeah. I always get that. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Very impressive. Right, remember, one, yeah, and then you suck him. Oh! Oh, oh god, you I went him. into first person by accident. Oh! Oh, it's a Magi! Get him! Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Oh, no! no I'm dead. Let's see. Okay, re well, I was about to say, let's see how far back we go. It says replay area. Uh, just for our curiosity, what happens when you do that? Oh, yeah, we're right oh, back to cool. uh, come on, little one, push. Yeah, the, the honeycomb. Right, okay, well, let's go and be Rakokinol. Let's go see what rakokinol has got going on. Yeah. Do you want another fact? Yeah, definitely. Uh, there are 32 used copies of this game on Amazon. 32 used With copies. With a starting price of... Uh... A pence. A pence! You can have your own copy of this game for 1p. A single British pence. Yep. 6,000 years ago, a fierce warrior. This seems like it's the same thing it we does. watched before. Just the way I said 6,000 years ago then, yeah. it actually reminds me of the intro to uh, the animated series. 
It goes, um... 3,000 years later, the manacle was rediscovered, but something went terribly wrong. And the boy, like, puts the manacle on and then he can't get it off. What an idiot. Yes, And he's stupid. cursed by a big glove. Yeah. It's so dark in here, Rick. And yet, it's all so familiar. What are you talking What does that mean? The boy is here. Why is there a broom torch? He's got no eyes now. He's like, he's like a mole. <laughs> he's been underground this long. He's lost his sight. Don't touch. What's he Throw doing? Throw an evil mummy or two, and you're basically describing our honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rick. Be careful, Alex. Oh, Mum, I'm always careful. That's good. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Alex! 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 I think so, but... Some kind of some kind of what accent does he? Have? Why would a child say steep Sorry shoes? I broke the temple, Mom. <laughs> Why is it zooming on the hole like it's Sorry, him? Mom. Sorry, I broke the temple, Mom. And now we go live to Alex. Stop doing <laughs> it. It's so weird. It's yeah. filled with joy and statues. Just the it's hole is filled with talking. joy and statues, but I can't <laughs> see anything. I can't see much else except the entire room. For oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we came onto this campaign. Who's the? Oh, she's gone. She's gone. Okay. Well, who's the real supernatural man? Yeah. Everything about this is wonky. Oh, hello. There's already a person. She's got a gun. He's running away. Is this our guide? Did he bring us here? No, he looks threatening. Oh, oh here, here. Oh, what does your guy say? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's why I couldn't open my inventory before. Is because you have to hold it down. Oh, that makes sense. You got dynamite. I've got two. Browning semi-automatic handguns. Mm. Well, you shouldn't keep them in your back pocket, then, should you? That's that's that's, that's part of the get, problem. That's how they get brown. Yeah. So now we're playing Tomb Raider. And I do the stupid jump mechanic hit. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That almost looked exactly like how Lara Croft did it in the. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Just walk off. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, same noise every time. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> and I found some health. Well, this is. This is really, really interesting. Yeah, so it's great. Oh, it's also so dark. Climb up. Oh, how did she get over there? What? She's just getting the, the the crap beaten out of her. It's auto aim. That's good. So you really just don't have to try at all. No. I like how when you fire, you go bang. It's some sort of ancient crypt. They're so unfazed that their child is, <laughs> yeah, has fallen into it. He's a, fallen down a hole. This is a world, remember, where these two are very familiar with the idea of supernatural beings existing. And They're mummies in a coming crypt. back from the dead. Come on, we've got to find Alex. Yeah. Oh, oh. Finally, a, a, a modicum of concern from a mother. Why did he walk like that? Oh. oh, well, that was stupid. You woke up all the mummies. Are you my mummy? <laughs> Would you like some reviews, Peter? No. Okay. But I know you're going to give me, give it to me. I'm going to give you the reviews. Here. Here. Oh. Oh. Suddenly, it's... Suddenly I see. He's wearing a hat. Hello, this is the Rose Bus. I'm going to dynamite him or her. Him or her. Miss Dynamite. Himotep. Miss Dynamite. <laughs> he. What happened to Miss Dynamite? She did a song. She did, didn't she? Oh, well, that that's one. great. <laughs> that one doesn't auto-aim, I'm assuming. You know, that mummy's not very imposing, is it? If he no. just walks and slaps you. You can oh. also just shoot him every time he swings and just stop his attack. Wow, he was not much of a threat, was he? No, that was good. To just oh. turn you okay? there. Like, do you think well, maybe? maybe? Give it a try. <sighs> oh, very nice. Whoa. Whoa, did he just do a little flip? He did do a flipsy dopsy. Guess what this game got on Metacritic? Out of 100%, uh, what do you think it got? Well, as we said... Mm. Uh, oh! Oh, no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> these games are often over... Over-reviewed. Over-reviewed. Oh, can you shoot oh. him? Uh, I'm, I'm going to say probably like 65. 65? Well, you're wrong. It got 44% on Metacritic. Oh, well, that's that's a breath of fresh air. <laughs> it's, glad. It's, not, it's not. It's not the best. No. It's, it's worse than most, this one. What's the highest review, would you say, out of 100? I will now say 65. I think someone is stupid enough to give it, like, 60-ish. Very close. 63 is well, the highest review score. See, it wasn't that mad that I said... Ooh. Ooh, ooh. But it came from GameSpot, and we know that one. They're a reputable source. They gave it 63 and said, while it looks and sounds good and is a so... Ooh. What? 
okay. I'm, it's okay. I'm still alive. We're boundary breaking. We found a new secret We're in the sky. Oh. In one of our least favorite games. There he goes. He's dead. Now. Okay, good. Replay area. Replay area. At least we get to see Alex fall down the hole again. Yeah, I'll can't try wait. And, I'll try and get to get through these before we get there. Though. While it looks and sounds good and is a solid playing game, solid playing being hyphenated, never heard that solid word playing. ever before. It's, it's on Wiktionary. Solid playing yeah. game before. It is not without a few annoying quirks that pop up, pop up at moments when you niece when you niece lead them. Oh, what? I'm really struggling. Are you okay? When you, I think I'm rated 44% on Metacritic. Yeah. The addition of being able to play as a villain is a welcome change. That, I, I like that. 63%. It's over half excellent. Yeah. So, what do you think the lowest review score was? Uh, zero. <laughs> Can you do an animation for when we get 0%? Yeah. <laughs> now, we don't count zeros. We still read them, but we don't count them as the lowest score because no game can truly be awarded a 0% because that means it's just a block of wood. And it. Talk hey, talking what? of which. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Game revolution. Zero. Save your money for something less painful, like a bikini wax or unanesthetized. An anesthetized yeah. dental surgery. That's such a hard word to say. It is quite unanesthetized. Unanesthetized. But the actual lowest review score was what, Peter? Uh, 20? 25. 25. Ooh. From Game Informer, we know that one. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Through unresponsive controls, poorly designed worlds, and atrocious animations, it would seem this title was created with the specific purpose of torturing those who play. Yeah. 25 out of 100. Womp. Wom. Wom. I mean, this looks like a threatening pit. There's a pit with a dead body a in. A threatening pit. A threatening pit. A threatening pit. And an item that I'm tempted by, and therefore, what's going to happen? Oh my god, oh, what, are those? Buggies. what are those? What are those? They're scorpions, they're massive! Quick, get Jump out! Jump out! Jump out! Can I shoot them? Can I dynamite them? Tee hee. <laughs> get out! Quick! He can't jump out. Do I have to kill them? Uh, surely you can climb. I'm blocking they the scorpion. They actually can't hurt you. That's good. Oh, nice. You can. That's it. Kick him to death. Well, you got it. That's great. I can't watch any more of this. That was well honest. designed, wasn't it? Can't watch can't any more of this. Thank you so much for joining us on the first episode of Worst Games on this, our brand new channel. We Excellent. hope you enjoyed it. We hope you will like the video. We hope you share it with people. Why not go on the Reddit um, community for the mummy films and post this and see, <laughs> see what they think. There can't possibly be one. <laughs> Who's to say? I bet there is. Oh, well, there's the, the new mummy, isn't there? Oh, no, not that one. I didn't mind it. Do you know? I didn't can mind we, it. Can we play the clip from the trailer? Oh, yeah, where, where they... Where they, all the sounds are gone it's just Tom Cruise yelling. <laughs> they actually released a trailer without the proper sound mix. Uh, no! Oh, that was, that was the best bit of that film. Anyway, please check the links in the description below if you want to support us on Patreon, if you want to like our relevant pages, please subscribe to the channel. A new Worst Games episode video will be with you every fortnight. That's every two weeks. Episode video. Yeah, it will. Episode video. Did I say episode video? You did say episode video. It's fortnightly. We have played Mummy Returns today, and in two weeks' time, we'll be playing a new game. And you know what? I don't think we're going to say what it's going to be. We're just going to reveal it on the day. You'll have to find out then. I will be the game's victim. These will be the game's master. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And on Patreon, you can see this two days early. You actually can, yeah. On the respective tier. Yeah, you'll get this video two days before everyone else. Yeah, so maybe support if you like it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Oh, with that, oh, it sounds like the the science fact box is telling us it's time to go home. Another Bye, distress everyone. call. But we've got, we must get, there's a new game to go and get. Away. Let us know in the comments below if there's a terrible game you'd like to see us play at some point. Bye, everyone. <laughs>